You're watching Business of Politics. I'm your host, Dante Klingang. As you know, this network remains off-air because of an indefinite suspension ordered by the National Telecommunications Commission, or NTC. So if you're seeing this, you're likely watching online or on some cable TV channels. Of course, this network has appealed that ruling, led by our guest this evening, Attorney Mark Tolentino. Many of you know him as a program host on SMNI. Others may also know him as a radio personality on various programs, such as Talk to My Lawyer at DWWW 774AM Radio, Legal Minds at DZRH Channel 3 Cable Link, Kasama Ka Kaibing at DWDD AFP Radio 1134AM, and Straight to the Point on DXBC RMN Butuan. Just like on SMNI, he mostly provides legal advice. His expertise is family and business law, and his competencies include also immigration law. Attorney Tolentino is a partner at MKT Law Offices, the Chief Legal Counsel of MRT3. He was also a former Associate Solicitor General and was a DOTR Undersecretary during the Duterte Administration. On top of all that, he teaches at the La Salle University's College of Business and has written several books on various legal subjects. Our discussion tonight will focus on SMNI's future. We will ask Attorney Tolentino, what is the latest on this network suspension? And how can we get it back on air? Sorry, Latino. Welcome to Business and Politics. Uh, thank you, Cliff, for inviting me here. And to all the followers ng SMNI, uh, good day sa atin lahat. Well, you know, this is the second week we've had a SMNI program host but, and basically talking about, you know, uh, this issue involving yeah, yeah, the yeah, network. Yeah. But you are at the forefront of this. Maybe you can yeah. give us the latest update. Where are we now? Because there have been many, um, uh, I suppose, legal... Um, Motions filed by yes, you yes. and others in SMNI, but where's the case now? So we are a team. So okay. I'm one of the lawyer, and another lawyer is attorney Rolex Suplico. And of yes. course, there are other advisors, of, yeah. legal advisors. Attorney Hadi Roque. Right? Yes, yes. Yeah. So now, yeah. attorney Roque, <coughs> attorney Salpanello, and other yes. lawyers here. We filed a, an appeal to the office of the president because the, our motion for reconsideration that we filed with NTRCB was denied by NTRCB. Just a one or two page uh, resolution of MTRCB denying our motion for reconsideration. That's why we filed an appeal to the office of the president. This time, we will know what is the stand of the president, of President BBM, because that is his office. The office of the president has the jurisdiction with respect to the appeal of the decision of the MTRCB, because MTRCB is under the office of the president. So that is with respect, with respect to the case of MTRCB, the case of Laban Kasamang Bayan and Gikan Samasa of, of former President uh, Roa Duterte. And yesterday, we filed a motion for reconsideration with the case of, of NTC, National Telecommunication Commission, because they indefinitely suspend the operation of SMNI. We argue in our motion for reconsideration that there's denial of due process. Why there's denial of due process? They are the judge, they are the complainant, they are also the executor. How can we expect justice in that kind of situation that they, they will be the one to decide, they are the complainant, and they are the one who will implement the decision? So that's why we filed a motion for reconsideration. But before the motion for reconsideration, we filed a motion to inhibit. We're asking the MTRCB to, uh, to ask them to inhibit because how can we expect an impartial judge, an impartial court, if they are the judge, they are the complainant, and they are the executor? Yeah. Unfortunately, they denied our motion to inhibit. And second, we also filed a motion for bill of particular. When we say bill of particular, this is a... Where, where did you file this? Uh, NTC. NTC. Okay. Because we, can, we do not know what is our the alleged violation. Okay. Can, can we take a step back for a minute? Because this... It all started with the hearing in Congress yes, at the yes. House of Representatives. And can we go back to, to, to that first? Because yes, yes. Um, it seems that it, 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 it grew, the, the SMI's problem grew from there, in, in a sense, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, what was your expectation when you, were, when you were asked or invited to appear on that committee? And as a lawyer, maybe you can explain to us, what was the limits of what it can do as a franchise committee in the House. Okay. Right? What was the purpose of that meeting and what was the intended outcome of that? I was one of the resource person in that investigation, right. in the 
You were not yet uh, a legal... Uh, I'm part of the legal team of right. SMNI, an in-house counsel of okay. SMNI. So okay. I was one. But you were there as a resource person. Yes, I was there. Hearing. So I expect that they will respect me yeah. as a Filipino. But unfortunately, yeah. there was no... I don't feel any respect there. I don't feel any... Uh, any I don't feel it that we were welcome there. Okay. So that's my experience. So the, the, the meeting was was to... Uh, oh, the, the issue there... Uh, was Queen. to look at the complaint or was it already to look at the... to scrutinize the franchise of SMNI? No, no. Okay. The, the issue there is not about franchise. The issue there is about the question of Kai Eric Sales On about the 1.8 billion uh, yeah. funds of the office of the speaker. So the basically house. the ethical, there, there was the ethical uh, question, that was the agenda that of the... That is the only issue okay. and the second issue is about the alleged threat of, okay. of President, former President uh, Rudy Duterte yes. against one congresswoman, uh, yes, Francis Castro. Castro. Yes. Castro. Yes. Which, was Which has been uh, dismissed, already. dismissed by the city court. That's why that was our, one of our argument. If that is, if the, if the case of Former President uh, Roa Duterte was dismissed with the office of the city prosecutor in Quezon City, and the, dis the evidence required in the fiscal office is only a uh, probable cause. Much more that they should dismiss it with the MTRCB because the decision, because the evidence required with MTRCB is substantial evidence. Now, but let me, let me go back to the, 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 the house because you have to explain this to a non lawyer like yeah, yeah, myself, yeah, yeah. right? So, in my understanding, these um, public hearings are essentially for aid of legislation. Yes. Right? So, uh, were you surprised that there was some uh, resolution as to what to do with, um, with the franchise of SB? Because, you know, the, the, the hearing was about the conduct of, uh, as you said, Kairi one program and, and, and well, two programs and, yeah, yeah. and the former president. Yeah, yeah. Right? But somehow it led to to the franchise. To, to, to the franchise. Can, can, uh. can you explain to us, I mean, procedurally, how that surprised, did that surprise you? And what was, what was we the... We were surprised. <laughs> Second, that is really a clear violation of due process. We, we were surprised what it's that kind of investigation. Okay. The investigation is all, all about the one point eight, the alleged questioning of Guy Eric of the one point eight billion peso travel fund of the office of the speaker. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it, it reached up to the franchise. No. And we, I was, personally, I was really disappointed. Why? Because the one who sponsored the, the, the resolution is one of my co-hosts of my program here, mm -hmm. the Pinoy Legal Minds, the person of one Migs, uh, Migs Nograles. Yeah. So he, she was the one who filed a, the resolution, sponsored that resolution, three grounds. First ground is number one. He, she is asking the NTC to suspend the the operation of SMNI, and I believe that that resolution is unconstitutional. Okay. Why unconstitutional? Because the NTC is not under the House of Representatives. Okay. The NTC is under the office of the president, or it's under the. The it's, ICT. Under the, the, okay. it's under the executive department. The NTC, so yeah. it means under the separation of power, they are separate and distinct. They can the the House of Representatives cannot dictate the NTC what to do, especially that NTC has a quasi judicial power. We say quasi judicial power, they are not under the the House of Representatives, and in fact their jurisdiction is with respect to the authority or the provisional authority issued. Under the law, they have the right to issue provisional authority to NTC or to the SMNI. So the issue of, of the House of Representatives is legislative franchise. That is the issue, legislative franchise. Therefore, in case there's a violation, a less violation of legislative franchise, the one who has jurisdiction is the Congress. When I say Congress, by that, we are talking of the two houses. First is the House of Representatives and the House of Senate if we are talking about legislative franchise. But, but the NTC has no jurisdiction with respect to the legislative franchise. Their jurisdiction is only with respect to the provisional authority, to the certificate of public convenience that they're the one issuing it per, per, off, per city, per provinces, especially in, in the radio stations or TV stations, there, there is a frequency given. The one who will give that frequency is the NTC, not Congress. 
So therefore, the NTC's jurisdiction is only with respect to the provisional authority, not to the legislative franchise. In case there's violation of the legislative franchise, the one whose authority is Congress. They can amend that, but it should be through a law, not a mere resolution. So they, they, they have the power to grant. Am I correct to say that they don't have the power to revoke? They have the power to revoke, but in compliance with the due process clause okay. of the Philippine Constitution. Right. Therefore, if uh, yes, it is, it is their discretion to issue franchise, sure. but that is not the discretion to revoke the franchise. Under the proprietary principle of the, of the Philippine jurisprudence, uh, if a franchise is already granted, that is like a property right, mm. proprietary right that needs to be protected under the due process clause of the Philippine Constitution. So Congress is not correct to say that they have the right to give, they have the right also to revoke away, it. Yeah. So that is, that is not allowed under the Philippine Constitution because SMNI is different from ABS-CBN. ABS-CBN, the franchise is already expired. Franchise of SMNI is still valid and subsisting. Therefore, it should be protected under the due process clause of the Philippine Constitution. Okay, so assuming that uh, they have some issues with SMNI, what would have been the correct procedure for, for the House? Let's say <coughs> they had um, some grounds yeah. to discipline SMNI for the statements of Kai Eric and the statements of the former president. What would have been within the limits of that House committee to do? They have no, they have no right to revoke the law. Yeah, yeah. What, what, but what can they, they can, do? They can conduct can they investigation. Re refer um, the matter to DOJ. The, no, can, no. can they, uh, can, can they sanction you somehow? Or the Congress <laughs> has the right to conduct investigation in aid of legislation. Okay. But they cannot amend it without confirmation from the House of Senate. Okay. So therefore, because our our Constitution is there, it, there are two bodies. House of Senate and the House of Representatives. Therefore, the House of Senate cannot suspend without the House of Congress or the House of Representatives cannot suspend the operation of SMNI without confirmation of, of the House of Senate. Yeah. Uh, have you had a chance to talk to your co-host, Attorney Migs, uh, uh, Congressman, uh, Congressman Migs? During the investigation, yes, he texted me. What was her reason? What did she say to you about? I, uh, we were not talking about the SMNI franchise. I was really surprised that she was one of the author of that of the resolution, which I believe that resolution is illegal. That resolution is unconstitutional. Why unconstitutional? House of Representatives. I, I know he, she knows this because she is also a lawyer. The House of Representatives cannot dictate any decisions of the NTC because NTC is under the executive department and, and that is under based on the principle of separation of power. So separation of power under the Philippine Constitution, there is an executive department headed by the president. We have the judiciary headed by the Supreme Court and we have the legislative headed by the, by the Senate president and the speaker of the house. Now, I have to take a, a break, Attorney Talentina, but is this whole episode at the house over or are you expecting more hearings at the House with this committee or with other committees? There will be another hearing, I expect, because there is a proposed bill filed by one congressman, one partless congressman, I forgot the name. Uh, he filed a bill uh, to revoke the operation, or, or to revoke the franchise of SMNI. Okay. So there will be, I'm expecting another hearing. So granting that they will pass it, they will make it as a law in, in House of Representatives, there's a need for a confirmation from the House of Senate.